Ah, the trees at the lighthouse, they have these old windswept scrub oaks. To me, that has always been St. Augustine. Tuesday, Greg yep. Clifton told St. John's County Commissioners he's worried the natural beauty of the area is disappearing. And if you go on 207 and I get so mad every time I ride by, the dev developers just come in and plow every single thing down. And they don't need to. Clifton is one of more than 60 residents who spoke to county commissioners at a growth management workshop. Some of them waiting in line at times to have their say. Clear cutting of property is destroying our quality of life. How much are we going to add? Everything has a capacity. If you don't build it, they won't come. St. John's County is one of the fastest growing counties in the nation, but more and more lately, the people who live here are calling on government leaders to slow down the rubber stamp on developing sprawling subdivisions and shopping centers. The Matanzas Riverkeeper was even sitting in on the meeting Tuesday. She was impressed with the number of people who came out to speak. She said input is valuable, but action is necessary. So I'm hoping that this continues with a more in-depth dive into specific issues and culminates in concrete recommendations. No policy action was taken at the meeting, but there are some takeaways for the commissioners. The question is I've been struggling with, uh, do we have the right form of government for our current and future growth needs? We are really set up to address the needs of a very rural community. Well, we're not a, a rural community anymore. You know, it's not developers telling us what to do. We should be telling the developers the lifestyle that we want here in St. Augustine. Clifton hopes government leaders listen and plan well and protect the places that native Floridians and newcomers alike love. Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.